exactly right. As um, it, can be, it can be seen in the Google map, I'm just near Chernobyl and we are on the trip to Chernobyl. And um, that's the Chernobyl town in Twisign. And uh, this is the road that we drove. And this is the bus. And um, the town is almost now deserted, but there are some probably people working on different sectors and this is um, going to be the entrance to the Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Um, that's the memorial park of um, Chernobyl and uh, probably the names of the people who died from here. And um, you see all deserted buildings with the right, left, everywhere. And the ones basically evacuated. Just, just near um, Chernobyl town is this um, detection mechanism for ICBM, which is intercontinental ballistic missiles. And from what I understand, is this was never used or probably it wasn't functional at any time. And now they allow entry or access to this um, um, uh, station from by tourism. So you can understand how the Zerorakan number four exploded <coughs> this system without electricity, without energy. This is the um, Chernobyl reactor which blew up in um, 1996 and um, uh, thousands died. The reactor is just behind this um, um, aluminium construction. Uh, so this is a deserted town called Paige or Pane something and this is this was newly built um, to accommodate people working in uh, Chernobyl power plant and this is just about um, uh, maybe five kilometers from Chernobyl power plant where the disaster happened in 1986. Now I've seen the middle of the frame is that concert hall and to the left is a restaurant and then um, to the right is um, uh, I think a uh, supermarket or something. So this is all deserted no one lives here and no one is allowed to come here because there is a still um, risk of huge radiation. I say everything is deserted, no one lives here. I don't know whether there is a problem with the buildings and so on. That is abandoned amusement park in uh, Paje, which is a town near Chernobyl. And you see this big building there, this all, this no one lives there. And those buildings basically, they're all empty, no one lives there. And by law, they're not allowed to come here or live here. So it's just the tourists that are allowed for a few hours and that's it. The whole town is deserted now.